Welcome back to our Demon Souls walkthrough. Today we're prepping up to take on the Depraved Chasm. If you've been keeping up with our walkthrough thus far, this is actually our second jump into the chasm. As our first run, we snagged the Blessed Mace plus one for a little extra help early on with our build. Uh, before I go in, I do go around and check uh, for a slashing damage weapon. Uh, currently, all I have is the Crushing Axe plus one. We're actually not a strength build or a faith build, but the mace doesn't really, the mace that we're currently using doesn't really do too hot here. Before I go in, I do spend two points into endurance to raise my stamina bar just a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to raise my stamina currently, my vitality being at 20, and I'm being comfortable with, you know, damage taken and whatnot. I can kind of dump a little into endurance to, you know, get a few more swings in, do an extra roll or maybe more, something of the sort. Obviously, you can see my weight limit isn't the greatest currently. If you're going by a video by video and building this exact character, things are going to start to get a little bit easier for us. Our regen's going to allow us to start banking grasses like crazy. Uh, a little warning about this place, especially if you haven't watched the other video. Uh, the majority of your deaths are going to be coming from falling, more than likely, especially if you're brand new. Uh, the entire zone is hated by most Souls players, so if you get frustrated, don't worry. It's con completely normal. Uh, this place is known for just poison, falling, annoyance. Also fire, as you can see. Now, if you take your time through here, it's not really too bad. You do have to watch out for the depraved. These these guys with either a knife in their hand, a spear in their hand, or as you're going to see later on, a giant depraved, a big boy with a club. He's a pain in the butt. Uh, but if you take your time, keep your shield up. It's really not too bad. Uh, in our previous video... Uh, when we went to the depraved chasm, we actually went down the right side to get the blessed mace plus one. So we're not going to be taking that exact same route this time. We're actually going to be exploring a little bit more. And trying to just get all the, the goodies out of the first area. There's nothing really super important here, but hey, there's a walkthrough. One thing you really want to be careful about is these depraved guys with the knives i find them personally to be the most dangerous uh they have a little dash move that's like it's a combo move i don't know if it hits four maybe five times in a row if your character is not ready for that you can you can just die from it straight up uh, some of these guys like to jump off like so but it also does a knockback, the dash move I was just talking about. Uh, that can either push you off a ledge, push you into more monsters. Uh, it's, it's not good. If you keep your shield up, you can actually block the attack. There's one dash move right there you just seen. If you keep your shield up, you can actually block it. Or you can interrupt it by swinging. Or you can just straight up dodge it. The problem here is, well, mainly you're just in a cramped corridor almost the entire time. Uh, it's very cramped. It's very dangerous. There's lots of guys running around, lots of depraved. But, as I said, take your time through here. Uh, another thing worth noting. Um, if you, if this is your first time coming in here, make sure you got some, some fire or some pine resin with you. Uh, it also helps a little bit. If you got enough pine resin and you're struggling against these guys... Fire and slashing damage do wonders here. Um, like I said, you can find pine resin in uh, uh, the gates of Bolitaria, I believe. Uh, the very first like zone that you go in, um, outside of the Nexus, you can actually farm from the uh, firebomb guys, which, speaking of firebomb guys, you can use firebombs here if you're not that comfortable as well. Also, a, a side note on the boss of this area, uh, once you get there, you definitely want to have some kind of, some kind of resin with you. 
The boss isn't hard, but you can find yourself in a situation where the boss is actually regening more than you can damage it. Uh, I'll get more into that when I release my boss guides video for each area. Uh, but just as a heads up, if you're playing through and just watching this video for the first time, have some pine resin on you and a weapon that you can actually use pine resin on. Uh, Blessed Mace is not one because it's already enchanted, uh, basically, so can't do anything there. These two spear guys that I just killed, um, they're not too hard if you take it slow. Um, just walk up to them, aggro them out, block a hit, and counter. That seems to be fairly effective against them. Also, I want to be careful of these guys hiding in the grass in this area. Uh, this, this level's a lot about trickery. These faint zone shards that we're picking up will come in handy uh, with our upgrades later on. So make sure you keep an eye on that. I'll show you guys the farm spot that we're going to hit up for faint stones. It's after the second boss of this area, actually. Now these giant, I really don't know what to call them. I guess they're ticks. Um, I'm not certain on this, but I think if you hit them with your mace or a blunt damage, they don't explode and poison you. Again, I'm not 100% certain on that. I do know, as seen, if you hit them with a slashing weapon, such as the axe that we're using, uh, they do explode and poison you. It shouldn't be that big of a factor with our regen currently. Uh, there's an NPC as well. We'll talk to her in a little bit. But, you know, if you want to dodge that poison mechanic, you can. And speaking of poison, here's Plague. This is a new one for us. If you've been keeping along with the guide and playing along with it. Uh, Plague is not as dangerous as it was in Dark Souls. A lot of players are coming from the Dark Souls series. And Plague is, is basically just another poison in this game. But... You know, plague slash toxic, whatever you want to call it, in in Dark Souls was a literal killer. Uh, that's the area across the bridge there, where we found the Blessed Mace. Just gonna bait out some of these guys. You want to clean this area up as much as you can, because the next part, my playstyle anyway, I do lead these next enemies back into this area to defeat them. Because if you rush forward basically use the rats as a check mark after these rats if you rush forward you're going to be in for a fun time so you want to take your well a fun time being a, a, a bad time but <laughs> you want to take your time here also if you do have plague or poison on right now you can eat these lotuses to uh re you know, take that effect off now if you're low on grass and you are currently using this build, you can actually just stand here. Your your health will regen. It's a little bit slower than normal because I don't have my Blessed Mace equipped. But on to the hardest part of this area, in my opinion. Across this bridge is a giant depraved. And inside of that room, well, you can see rocks right here. Inside of the room that he's in is like two or three other smaller guys. Uh, there's actually a depraved above you uh, Side note if you have pure white tendency Just to my left right here. It will be a ladder. You can get a uh, faith spear from there. That's fairly decent But my goal here is to aggro the big guy as soon as I see him move I instantly jump back and go here. You can see that one little depraved guy. He actually fell down right there so If you rush in you actually have the big guy and then like three little guys to deal with I always try to drag them back here. Um, I don't think that you can actually block the big depraved guy's attack. You can roll them. You can iframe them, obviously. Uh, but your biggest enemies here, you want to wipe out the little guys first. And the, the camera is a kind of a pain here. Now, the reason I'm trying to play this safe is because some of you may not have the vitality and or armor for this area. And these guys, they, they don't hit that hard, but they hit hard enough. And I will showcase that in a little bit. They hit hard enough to where if you have multiple enemies on you, you can be in trouble. 
Once you slay the big guy, breathe for a moment because uh, it's kind of stressful. They're very beautiful with their tongues. Um, I actually go up here and, and showcase what the vendor sells for us. Again, most NPCs in this game don't sell much. If you are missing out on some resin, though, you can actually buy some right here. So the first semi-useful item from a vendor, in my opinion. But other than that, she's just a cranky old lady. So, we'll just step away from that old hag. Going forward, there's not really much else to really worry about here. Once you cross this bridge area, um, there's going to be some guys hiding, like laying down, playing dead. This is what you would be dealing with on top of two extra guys if you rush in here. It's, it's a trap. But just take these guys out one at a time. Again, if you see one of them with a dagger in their hand, be a little extra careful. Most of them have daggers. The uh, the dive move. Oh, God. These backstab animations are so beautiful. The guys with the daggers do have like a little four to five hit combo that they can pull off on you. Hurts. make sure you clear every room i should have tested this right here with the mace i, I didn't though again dealing with poison not a big deal if you're a faith build user it's almost it's one of the reasons why i recommend a faith build for any any new demon souls player uh, the only other annoying part is coming up you have two guys with flaming Flaming spears that you have to deal with. And if you look behind them, you actually see a, another big guy as well. Not too much of an issue. They do block each other on the bridge. You do not want to fight the, the big guy on the bridge for rolling reasons. But if you can, you want to knock out these two little guys first and then kind of bait him into this bigger room. This room is much easier to dodge in than the one we had... Uh, the other big guy in I'll show you guys how much damage I actually take if you've been following the guide You should take about similar damage. It does not feel good, but You know, it's not the end of the world if you get hit They're very easy to dodge. You almost always want to be two-handing them. It's a, it's a chunk, but it's not, it's not anything crazy Keep in mind we will be running into the same enemies in the second and third zone uh they do hit harder the further the deeper you go into these dungeons the enemies hit harder and harder and that's that we actually made it to the first boss here not too long of a video really not too long of a ride but again make sure if you come here and you're copying this build keep yourself some pine resin uh pine resin and or black pine resin about two will will do just just fine and also if you've been following the guide and you picked up the axe that's what you're going to be using against the first boss here um i'll go over it in more detail a little later on in my boss video guide for now i do want to say thank you for watching the guides hopefully this helped especially for you new players out there umbasa take care stay alive and we'll catch you guys and gals on the next video.